here. Welcome to my craft room. Well, we're going to get into some glitter stenciling. And I know people panic as soon as you say glitter. So do I because I don't like it all over my craft room. But you can contain it and I'm going to show you how. First, I'm going to take one of these wonderful stick it notes here pieces. I'm going to cut it down to five and a half by four and a quarter and put it on my sheet of paper here. And I've taken some stencils from Paper Tray Ink. This is one of their hearts. And I die cut it and I'm using Tim Holtz inks to distress the edges. Now, if you hear my uh, cinnamon, it's my bull mastiff and she is sitting right beside me snoring. Yes, so if you hear that, I apologize right off the bat. But there's no way I can stop her. She just keeps falling asleep. <laughs> so anywho, here I'm grabbing one of these daubers I got at the craft store. And I just set that uh, heart that I die cut in 140 pound cardstock. You don't need to have stencils. Use your die cuts, whatever you have. Here I'm using that little wee dauber. It is just like having a baster for your chicken, but it's small. And you get it at your craft store and you suction that glitter out. Now I'm using the back of the stick it and I'm just pressing it down so that I get all of the glitter in those holes. Then I'm going to take another heart that I die cut, put it over top, flip it around, and then all of tap it out. All that uh, glitter is going to come out on that heart. You can put it back into your case. And looky, looky, isn't that pretty? And I just took a paintbrush to get the glitter off the edges. And now I want to have uh, burgundy inside there. So the wonderful thing now is as long as you keep it inside that heart, that you die cut with the uh, heavy cardstock on the outside, the uh, the purple there. Um, just take your paintbrush and put it all the way around. Put another heart over top of it. Flip it over, and you're going to have a two-tone color with glitter. And I'm telling you, it's beautiful in real life. So I got this stencil with this stamp set at Michael's when I was away one time. And I've had it forever and I love this stencil. It has such a geometrical shape. Um, I just love it. So I'm going to put it over top and I don't have to tape it down because the, there's those basters that you get at the craft store. And uh, you just pinch the top and all that glitter comes up into the baster and you don't get glitter, not as much anyway, all over your craft mat. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use the silver, the gold, and uh, turquoise. This most beautiful color of turquoise. I stick my baster in there. I suction up the glitter and I'm putting it in only the spots I want. And I love this geometrical shape of stencil because it has thick edges. It's not going from one space to the other. I'm able to contain it. And it doesn't take that long really. And you have the baster. You're sucking up that uh, stencil, uh, I'm sorry, the beautiful glitter and I go around all of these shapes making sure that the two colors don't hit one another. So I've laid out the silver, I'm just about finished that and I'm telling you there's something about this glitter and this stick it that makes it look like glass. It does not look like glitter. When you get finished at the end of this project you're not going to believe how it looks like sheet of glass. It's absolutely stunning. I love this technique. Always have. I love glitter. I have tons of it. <laughs> yeah. And um, now look at that turquoise. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I love it. And next to the silver, it's amazing. And then you have the pink and the burgundy. It is so stunning. And uh, it's not that bad, seriously. And these little uh, basters, I got at Sharon's and they're only a few dollars each. Put a piece of cardstock down, press into it really well, and then you're going to turn it over and put your gold, right? Because it's the only color we have left. We've already set a base of the silver and that beautiful turquoise. I'm going to rub it onto the stick, it, turn it over, and we are going to show this beautiful beautiful card when this comes off look at that look at the white elements 
Now I'm going to show you what you do now. You put iridescent white so that those white spaces from the stencil get covered in white so that you get that beautiful um, two-toned, you know, white on color look, but you still have uh, glitter on there. You don't want to have it with sticky, right? You want to have it down with something. So now I'm just going to put it all back into my containers and see how I have Velcro? I Velcro all of my glitter into a big bin uh, by color. I'll have to show you one day. It's really nice because they don't move around. Now I took a paintbrush and I am going to take all of the glitter onto my mat as much as I can get off, rub it into there. Then I'm going to take my pokey tool and I go over and it does not take long. All of the white parts, I just remove all the glitter and then I just take the paintbrush again, swipe it so I can see what I have to uh, take off as far as on the white element of glitter. Now remember there's glitter on that uh, white space. So all I'm doing is removing the colored glitter and look at the peel and stick. Yes, another use for it. Just take a sheet off, rub it onto your mat and looky looky. Yeah, and then I just put my garbage pail on the edge and just swiped it into the garbage. Yahoo! Here's the beacon glue I always talk, the beacon Fabri-Tac. This works like glossy accents and look, I have been using this forever and I'm not even halfway through. It is a third of the price of uh, glossy accents and works identical. So now I have my irresistible Pico embellisher and I'm going around this heart because I don't want the glossy accent, it's too high. But the Pico embellisher is just glossy enough that it gives you that high gloss, but it, it's not raised and it doesn't take so long to dry and it does look like glass. It's beautiful. Now here's that little die cut that I used as, a, as an actual stencil. I am taking the same color of the glitter, that beautiful turquoise, and I'm using a Distress ink and I'm going over this really well. And if you see here, I, as I was doing that, bing, this big thought came into my mind. Oh yeah, I'm going to do one side of my card with that. But first, I'm taking the Abriel dies. I'm going to die cut out of acetate, a nice tag over there. It's a dotted tag. And I'm going to take my irresistible and see all those pink circles? I let that stay for about an hour. I put it on every dot and look at that raised look. It's beautiful. Now I was going to put the acetate tag right here. I did not want to use uh, anything that would take away from that beautiful diametric uh, stencil. I wanted to see that glitter, but then later on I changed my mind. <laughs> of course, that's what I do. But I'm taking this acetate die and I am going to use um, Love Ya and this is from the Stamp of Approval Kit and I am going to use my black detailed ink because it's really dark. I love it and I put love and then I did Ya, ya Y A after because I had to raise it up because of the Y being down farther on that tag and I wanted just enough to uh, see it right there. It's really nice. It says love ya cause you're my sister. That's what I put on the inside. So now I am undoing my um, Wink Estella and this is green. Wow, does it look beautiful. You know, I love collections so I bought all the colors of the Wink Estella and I haven't used them very often, but this green on the turquoise is almost identical. I absolutely love it. There, isn't that beautiful? So I set that aside because I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but my five and a half by four and a quarter inch card is going to be wider and longer. And I'm going to show you why, because I can't do a plain and simple card with this. It is too beautiful to just leave it like that. And I want to do every side of my card, the front, the back, the inside, the upside, the downside, every side, because you know that's what I do. I don't like to see any white cardstock at all. I have learned to live with it. That's just the way I am. And that's the way I create. And I don't mind at all doing all these steps. I really don't. So um, 
opening it up here and I'm thinking, okay, I got out my heart die and I love this die because the hearts aren't even and that's why I like they're all over the place. So I set that aside and look at when my mind, when I saw how, when I was coloring this in, how it left the stencil image, oh yeah, I'm doing the inside and I am pushing the turquoise and the um, burgundy together and I am stent, I am daubing it on first and then I'm pushing the ink away from the heart and you know what is wonderful about this and then I'm coloring it in I don't want any white I want to have it faded on the dots and dark as you push it out and I got this idea just while I was uh, stenciling uh, coloring that stenciled heart and here I'm telling you it's gorgeous I'm pressing it in twisting it on the hearts I'm taking a little bit here and I'm putting the, bur the turquoise on the turquoise, the burgundy on the burgundy, and I am filling in the inside and then when I have the heart on top, I am pushing it really hard right there. See how I'm fanning it out? And it gives you this wonderful effect of just a, f a flurry of color exploding out of that heart. It's lovely in real life. So I'm just finishing up with the hearts here and giving it some color. I love this look. I, I don't know if it's because it's just out of the ordinary. I, I just adore it. And this is the back of my card right here, I think, as I'm looking at it. And then uh, I have to do the top part right here, right? Because, yes, it is the back of my card because you don't want that to be white either. <laughs> you don't want any of your card to be white, right? Okay, this is a tongue twister. You don't want any of your card to be white, right? Mm -hmm. So here I have the wink is still on one side and then from me dis uh, distressing the stencil, I have the flat look on the other. And now we're gonna turn it around and I'm working on the front. So here I just added some of the burgundy because I die cut that heart die out of gold. This is Stampin' Up Gold glitter sheets and I am putting it down with my hot glue gun with the hot glue because it's thick and I want it to stay now I'm looking at it look at look at you can see white cardstock I can't take that so I grab the color of the turquoise and I go over the side really well you want it nice and dark and deep rich yes and so I go over this and then I decide you know what I have to go over the top and the bottom because you're going to see that from the side when you put this down and somebody holds that card up when I send it out I don't want them to see any white card stock and look at there I go direct to paper isn't it rich oh and then I just grab my applicator and rub it in and there you have it so on the back of this sheet I put double-sided uh, that belt that I buy at the dollar store and that's what's going on there so I took out my heart set and now I got an idea here. Yes, so I'm going to move along. I have the back, I have the front almost done, but I want some gold hearts. So I'll show you why in just a second here. See on top of that heart there, I have a little bee butterfly. I bought these little butterflies. They're absolutely stunning and they're made by little bee. And here is that heart die and another die set that I had. There's the little bee from uh, Little Bee Butterfly. And there's the inside. Now, I have to tell you on the inside of this card, I was doing the stencil with the burgundy and my camera said uh, that it stopped. And it said that my um, something was full and I had to delete. Well, guess what I did? I deleted that inside card. <laughs> I deleted the video showing you how I, how I stenciled it, but um, I just placed the stencil down and used the burgundy ink and went over it and left it plain like that. And I'm using my glue gun and I'm going to put a dauber all the way down. Because of having that gold paper, you want to raise it up on the left hand side so it's even. It, there we go. And there you have it. The front is almost complete. Yes. It's even, I have the foam. I 
I got uh, the inside foam is turquoise so that see when you see it on the side it shows turquoise you don't see anything white and the stencil part is on the inside I'm sorry my camera I deleted it by accident but all you're doing is putting the stencil down um, taking your distress applicator going over it and then I put some paper down on the top and the bottom to give me a one inch ledge and we'll see that later on in the card uh, I just uh, masked it off and made myself a one inch edge on the top and the bottom of the inside stencil. So here we go, we've got more hearts. Oh yeah, glittered hearts. You can't have too many of those, can you? Love this set of dies right here. And I take out all the teensy weensy ones and I end up putting them on that sheet that I made in that video yesterday, that uh, peel and stick sheet, so that you don't lose any of those little pieces parts. Now we're going to work on putting hearts underneath it. I wanted the, there it is, see, I have both of them. I'm using both of them, yeah. And I put hearts on that little bee butterfly like it was trailing, uh, trailing hearts in different sizes all the way up to the butterfly, five of them, because you want to use odd numbers. So here's, uh, I have the beacon glue on the back of the hearts. I've already put that on my uh, peel and stick little uh, piece there and look at that I love glitter yes and see how I made that ledge right there but I decided to put the love ya because you're my sister on the inside of my carpet on the top portion there I thought it really played nicely with those stenciled hearts so I'm putting that down I am going to use uh, that's the black detailed uh, ink and then clear embossing powder I have this acetate love ya piece and I put a little wee butterfly from the uh, little bee set that I have all different colors of little butterflies like that it's so cute and now I am going over it with my heat tool because you're my sister yeah it's so pretty and there you go clear as a bell isn't that beautiful and the reason why I did the ledges on the inside portion there is because of the back ledge. I wanted it all to be uniform. So I'm taking my Stampin' Up! little blue dots and I'm putting them on the acetate so you can't see it behind the letters. And we are going to put that on the inside top portion. And it just looks beauteous, doesn't it? Now I take my T-ruler and I want to make sure it's even. Everything has to, I just push it up with the ruler before I've pushed it down, making sure it's exact. And there you have it. Is that not pretty? You don't, you see all the work that you did with the clear acetate, but you get that nice look of a tag. So now we're moving on to the inside that I accidentally um, erased on my camera, but it's just holding the stencil down and taking your distress tool and going over the stencil and getting that exact look like the um, front of the card. And I cut out a heart with the glitter paper and now I wanted to use the heart that I um, glittered up. But remember the front side I put the Wink Estella on and the back side I had the burgundy and the turquoise. I wanted to use both. <laughs> I couldn't decide which side to use. So I cut it off. I cut it into four sections. That way I got to use the one side and the other side. I got to use the Wink Estella side of the heart and I got to use the, that's the Wink Estella side. And then I got to use the other side that I was using it as a mask. And it has the beautiful green and the burgundy. And I got to use both of them. The best of both worlds here just by cutting it up. And I'm setting it down with my hot glue. Now because you turn over the heart, right, I'm using the opposite side, it's not going to be quite even. You're going to have to take your scissors and cut it there because, uh, you know, you're turning it over and uh, it's not going to be exactly symmetrical. But it, you can't tell. I took the green distress ink, went around the edges because here we go again. You don't want to see any white. There I go. You go around the edges after I cut it, you would never know that um, that wasn't precise. 
when I cut it because, uh, you know, like I said, I wanted to use both sides. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, oh, I love this card. I'm, I'm going to enter this card over on Stamp Nation. I put glue gun, glue on the back, and I pressed it down onto my card. And uh, like I said, they're having a challenge over there for stenciled glitter. And this says made with love. I got this at Michael's. And I'm going to put my black detailed ink. I'm going to set it right there in the middle. There we go. And put it down. Oh yeah, you're taking a chance there. And notice I have my full mat down because I want, I do, I want to make sure I get all of the letters. I put clear embossing powder on there with made with love. But on the H, it did not have enough black ink for me. So I took my Copic multi-liner and I drew it in nicely remembering that you have the uh, the clear embossing powder on there but I needed that first and then I took my pen this is my Versamark pen on the fine side and I carefully make the H with that because it's a little thick there you have to be careful but I took my pokey tool and I pushed some of the clear embossing powder over it like all around it before I heat set it so that I didn't have anything thick. I'm just pushing that uh, powder out of the way so it looks like you get a really nice um, even look to it. That's what I want to say. And there you have it my friends. Isn't it beautiful? And truly this card was made with love. I love making cards for you. Um, I hope you like it. Look how it looks like glass. It really does. You get the all the different techniques in this card that you with stenciling. You don't need stencils. You can make your own stencils out of dies, like you see right there. That's from the paper tray ink heart. Thank you as always for joining me. Thank you to my subscribers. I'm just a few short of having 3,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. And thank you as always for joining me. I'm going to leave you with some pictures. Isn't that pretty? I was even thinking on the acetate there, I was going to make um, a shaker card. <laughs> and I thought, Carol, really, look it. I'm trying to add a heart there. Let it go, Carol, let it go. <laughs> so there you have it, my friends. I just love the look of this glitter. You'd never know it was glitter in real life. It does sh truly shine through like glass. And I love the flat look on here. Have yourself a blessed week, and thank you as always for joining me. I appreciate you. Take care, everybody.